All right, well, Cheryl Tan is here with more on how one city is putting a greater emphasis on play. you got to have some fun, that's for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, playtime these days is spent more often than not in front of a monitor of some sort. In fact, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, kids spent seven and a half hours in front of entertainment media per day. And according to the American Heart Association, about one in three kids is overweight or obese. So one local city is attacking the problem through play, and it's getting some national recognition because of it. The solution from the city of Norfolk in today's What's Your Problem? And there are groups of third graders from Terrellton Elementary in Norfolk working together for one purpose. This game is called Noodle Let Pickup. They had to go to the middle with their partner, scoop up as many as they can without using their hands taking their noodleettes that they scooped up with their noodles back to their team, dropping their team's basket, and then the next set of group members would go. Playtime during P.E. There you go, good job! And teamwork taught while having fun. You all did awesome! Anytime I pull the noodles out, they go crazy. They love it. It's always active. Everyone is usually always moving, so they love the noodle games. Movement matters, especially with the childhood obesity rate still at an alarming level. And the city of Norfolk is getting some national recognition for the priority it's placing on play. Physical education teacher Shannon Davis says not all of her students know what that means. Some of them do not. Some of them are used to just sitting and playing video games. So a lot of my games are introducing new skills. It's not your normal kickball and it's not your normal roll out a ball let's shoot basketball. I incorporate games of all kinds that they can take back home and show their siblings, show their parents. Nonprofit group Kaboom named Norfolk a playful city once again for its efforts to increase play opportunities for kids. We just received um, our, for the sixth time, we were announced as the Playful City USA by Kaboom. The city just started a Healthy Norfolk initiative where we are encouraging our residents to get out, become more active, to play, and to just build healthy communities and healthy residents. Norfolk encourages play by hosting a yearly play day, the third Saturday in September, where anyone can stop by for a free day of fun and exercise. Where kids get to come out, well families get to come out and just have a great time. Pony rides, bounce houses, soccer games, basketball games, jumping rope, just anything you can do that's fun and active. Our slogan is get out and play and it, to us it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you are you know, 3 or 53 or even 73. We also just had our Norfolk Senior Olympics for residents 55 and older and our oldest participant was 97 years old. If you're 7 years old, teachers like Shannon Davis can lay the groundwork for proper playtime. A lot of the little kids, they like to dance. So when they come in here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to dance. That gets their heart pumping, their muscles are getting warmed up, and their listening ears ready to go for the next game. With enough encouragement, the games and the health benefits that go along with them will go on. Play has so many different components that people don't even think about. You learn teamwork, you learn self-control, you learn how to think for yourself, you learn how to have an imagination, and you, you are physically active. <laughs> They were having so much fun. Well, Play Day this year will be held on Saturday, September 15th at Terrellton Elementary in Norfolk, so look for more details to come. In the meantime, get outside and play. PE teachers are the greatest resource about getting your kids active, and the city of Norfolk is doing its part. Its goal to have a playground within a quarter mile of every neighborhood so every family has a place to play. So more details on this effort at PantherRoadShow.com.